In my uh, biography on Himmler, I tried to show that there are many parallels between his personal life and the way he built up and he led uh, the SS. Himmler saw himself uh, as a military person. He joined uh, the Bavarian army at the age of 17 uh, towards the end of the First World War, but never saw action on the front line. He was somebody who had difficulties to relate on an emotional level with other people. He had uh, certainly um, uh, social and emotional problems, but he developed a kind of system uh, of self-controlling, of self-control uh, and self-discipline to overcome these this, this difficulties. And the, the military and the, the paramilitary organizations he joined after the First World War helped him to overcome these problems and to present himself as a self-controlled, um, well, uh, soldierly uh, uh, character. In order to understand uh, the man and his um, abilities as a as a, a leader, one has to go back to his youth and to his own education. He tried to transfer his, uh, his experience of his education, and this was a very rigid and strict education by his father, he tried to transfer this from the end of the 1920s onwards, 1930s, to the SS. He saw himself as an educator uh, of um, the SS officers, and this um, education meant that he would give guidelines uh, to this man, not only for, the, for their official roles, but also for their private life. He would control them. Um, he would actually punish them if necessary. He would actually punish them in a, in a quite rigid way. But he could also be uh, generous and give them a second chance. And all this is uh, not very much like, uh, like a, uh, like a uh, military disciplined organization. This is more like, uh, he saw himself more like a father of a, a strict father of a family.